So today we'll be solving string2 plus out on codingbat.com. The question reads, given a string in a non-empty word string, return a version of the original string where all chars have been replaced by pluses, except for appearances of the word string which are preserved unchanged. So uh, we're going to start out by creating a couple of variables. This one, the first one is going to be int s len, which is going to represent str.length. And the second one is going to be int w len, which is going to represent word.length. And now the third one is going to be string fin, which is going to equal nothing right now. And you're going to use, this is going to be used to return our final answer later on. Now we're going to go straight into our for loop. So for int i equals 0, i has to be less than sln, because sln is obviously going to be greater than word.length. And then i++. Plus plus. And then if i happens to be less than or equal to sln, minus wlen. I'm going to space this out a little bit so it's easier for you to read. Oh. But if this is true, then we're going to create another variable called string temp, which is temp which is going to be temporary. str.substring. You're going to put i all the way to i plus wlen. And now we're going to start another if statement if temp equals word. Then fin is also going to equal word. And I is going to have wlen minus 1 and then else you're just going to do you're just going to add a plus oh okay there we go and then at the very end you're just going to return fin So basically what this is doing is you're checking if i has is less than or equal to sln minus wlen. That means you're just going to uh, put whatever is in substring i comma i plus wlen into temp, which is your temporary variable. And then if temp equals word, uh, then you're going to add word to fin. And then you're going to add wlen minus 1 to i. And, but if all of this is false, then you're just going to add a plus. Now if you press go. Oh, forgot. Semicolons. But now if you press go, it'll all be correct.